what's up guys TG here and I'm going to show you a small tutorial on how to paint hair the easy way and the hard way so I've been painting hair the hard way for a couple of months now and it's not really that easy because you spend a lot of time painting it the hard way the easy way still includes some parts of the hard way I'm gonna start explaining what the easy way and the hard way is so it still includes both of them together will do a way better job and it'll save you save you way more time but it'll still cost some time but um, oh, always in Photoshop and any kind of art quantity I mean quality is way better than quantity because you don't want to just spend a heck of time and just paint every single strand and just sit there and be like oh it's awesome but then you find out a way that could be that could have saved half an hour of your time and you're like god damn so this may or may not help you because I've been working on something over here and uh, I've been searching for a lot of hair tutorials and uh, David Art suggests a lot of tutorials you, sh you, sh you guys should check out David Dart tutorials just type in hair painting tutorial and you will find a lot and they're pretty easy most of them are anime style but I mostly paint realistic portraits and uh, images I do draw some anime stuff I was currently drawing an anime drawing but at that time too I suffered from painting hair so I found a few easy ways I'm gonna share it with you guys right now so what we're gonna do now is uh, I'll make the brush size big so we always start off with the base color They'll, the base color will always always be black because uh, if if there's pre pretty much good amount of lighting in your painting or bad amount of lighting in your painting any amount of lighting in your painting the base color will always be black because your hair is thick if the hair is thick and uh, if you're painting a female character especially you should start off with black or anything closest to black because the shadows will always be black and you should show shadows which makes the hair look way more depth and gives it a way more 3d effect so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start off painting black in a new layer so that uh, if you don't like the black spreading outside uh, or creating a border around your hair you can just brush it off or erase it off in the end so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start painting I'm going to switch this off because uh, that will give me pen pressure and I don't want it and it's still happening why is that still happening the opacity is still down and I don't know what's happening so let me go check out our the brush panel yeah there we go let me bring down the spacing a bit there we go so this will be my base and uh, let's say our hair is shaped like this and let's say our hair is blue in color so painted this and you know, just get in some more depth over there okay, there we go shape of the head and get it out like that yeah there we go looks like a horse tail but whatever so what do you want to go to and next is if I'm picking blue that is so I'm gonna go to some dark blue shade now and what I'm gonna do now is go into the brush presets switch on transfer if you're using a pen uh, pen tablet this is way better and uh, with the mouse I don't know if transfer works but it works with pen tablets it should work with mouses because these options are made for everything I don't really know but uh, just try it out and uh, so here we go uh, I've switched on transfer and I don't want to switch on anything else currently transfer gives you this fade in fade out effect and it's really helpful at this point of at this stage of the painting so we have selected dark blue and uh, I'm, we're gonna eventually decrease the size of the brush as we go create a new layer over the black as I told black is a separate layer and you start painting outside the main color because you don't when you delete black and you leave the color you still want you do still want to delete something over here so if you want to paint inside the black part just start from outside the base colors when you come to individual strands you can paint them together so here we go we'll just start painting this and uh, don't worry about the black going away it's still there and there you go that's enough that's actually too much one two three that's enough so as you can see you only three strokes there then go a little higher make the brush size a little more smaller I'll zoom in just a bit and start doing the same a little more strong, smaller brush size one one two three four mostly you do want to start off from here because that will give you a beautiful effect because otherwise it will just look really really nasty so yeah there we go one two three so again 
I, uh, you don't want to leave the border now because uh, when we paint individual strands we'll make it look cooler at that time and your hair is not going to come till here it's just going to end somewhere over here so what, that's what I'm going for make it a little smaller and start painting and you know what I'll just switch on this pressure thing if you don't know if you're in a mouse this option won't be there just decrease your flow and your opacity a bit to get that effect and go I'm not good with painting long strokes so bear with me on this one and that's why I'm bad at painting hair so here we go that's done and now we'll go to the actual color blue and what you'll start doing is uh, make it a little more smaller and you start painting the strands now these are the visible strands don't make them go till the end yet just keep going I want to zoom out a bit so that I can draw single strokes easily And if this is the top of the hair, you'll always want to curve in like this because hair starts at one point of the head and it curves in. So just try doing that and as you can see that's enough. And now we'll go to the actual hair color. And then I'm going to decrease the brush size way lower. Something like 10 or 8. And then I'm going to start painting individual strands. So as you can see I'm just painting some individual strands over here. And now you'd want to go out of the border a bit and start painting them. You see that I'm bad at this so just make sure you zoom out a bit if your hand can't reach that much. See this way it's easier because you're just moving your hand little and you don't have that effort of going from the top till the bottom and you're just painting hair. Yeah so that's the easy way and as you can see it's filled in now what I'm gonna do is pick some highlights not too much highlights and make the brush size something like four or three and then I'm gonna start painting highlights not everywhere because it will make them look old then and then make these come out too and make these highlights somewhat loosen up like random edges sprouting out here and there because that's how hair happens and start painting in the opposite side a bit too like this and stuff and then as you can see we've come over here and then what you want to do now is press x or whatever choose white color that's what i'm basically saying make your size really small to something like two and then start painting highlights you you want to concentrate highlight on one part of the image because um if light is coming from this side highlights will be from this side I'll just show you in a bigger size highlights will be on over here and if light is coming from both sides like this highlights will be still be over here but if it's a ray of light something like this put some highlight over here like uh, fade it in and uh, put highlight mostly over here and then fade them in on this side and this side and uh, if there's light coming in from this way or something highlights in the edge darkness on the other edge that's what you're going for so let's just see light coming in from this side now we'll have to add darkness on this side highlight on this side so switch back to white make the brush size smaller and what you want to do now is decrease the hardness a bit to like 30 percent or something and then start painting highlights and that is too big let me just end that that is a call ignore Yeah, sorry about that guys uh, let me start painting again and uh, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start painting the highlights here and you do know that the border of the head is over here now it's not this so what you want to do is keep it outside the border a bit and then start painting the highlights and make these go random don't make them go on streaks and there we go Okay, that was too bright over here. So what I'm gonna do now is, yeah, there we go. Do that, decrease, and boom. Very little. And then now I choose black. Don't go total black. And choose something like this. And then start painting on this side. This is for the darker values. 
or if you're showing separate strands of hair you can just add some over there and you can see something like that and then start painting outside them again and then like this so now as you can see this part is done now what I'm gonna do is choose E that is for eraser keep the hardness down and then start erasing parts that you don't need so as you can see the hair looks really good now sorry about that guys uh, as you can see the hair looks really good now and uh, if if you've mastered this and you do know which layer to paint what in and if you keep like three separate layers for each part of this if you keep like three separate layers for each part of this sorry about that guys it's i've just been getting calls over calls exactly when i'm recording tutorials so what happens is if you keep pick, making like different layers and keep the, uh, if you painted three base colors like from dark I mean from black to dark blue in three different layers it'll look way better and then you can delete way more than whatever you wanted to delete so I'm just gonna try and delete some over here eh. not supposed to be deleting these but see the problem I'm having here because I didn't create a new layer so there you go so that looks like uh, somewhat like hair I wouldn't say hair and you want to keep the black in shaded areas so so that you can still show some kind of depth even if you didn't paint it and delete them in the highlighted areas so that you show light rather than show shadow there and there you go guys that is the easy i mean hard way of painting uh what do you say here and uh, now we'll go to the easy part you still need these ways to paint hair so what i'm going to do is increase the brush size again you you will always need a base color and now I'm gonna do it the right way so we'll just keep that there put the black and paint it in oh fuck sorry oh paint it in why okay and pick this up so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint in black I'm gonna paint in black okay let's do the same air style tile and boom boom what is that white dot i'm getting there why am i getting a white dot there we go so black black okay that was not supposed to happen i shouldn't have done that okay there is that black paint 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 sorry about that guys uh, paint, 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 paint. So now what you want to do is no different layers, no hard dark blue layers, no 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 bullshit here. All you do is pick a dark color, go into the brush panel. This is a built-in brush preset, and you choose this boy right here. This is called the bristle brush, and you can also find it over here, the bristle brush and uh there's a trick in doing this guy uh, using this guy because you see that it recognizes tilt if i'm using my mouse you can see that it stays in one position like it stays in one position there i gave you a hint right there so what you want to do is keep your pen as straight as possible and uh you gotta paint it doesn't recognize that much movement but uh just try be safe okay this is hard to control okay okay come on buddy come on buddy okay there we go so so what I'm gonna do now is decrease the brush size uh, decrease the brush size a lot and I'm gonna start painting these strands in and always have this on if you're this is mostly for the painters and uh, Wacom tablets and if you if you're not using a Wacom tablet don't switch this on decrease flow and opacity and as you can see I'm painting it in it already starts to look like strokes and Painting it in, painting it in, painting it in. Okay, there we go. I painted it in the same layer. Beautiful. Perfect. So next, higher color. Yes. Make this make this bigger. In that brush you have to make the brush size smaller. But in this one you make the brush size bigger and you decrease the bristles a bit. bit and uh, length of the bristles lowered. Thickness is the same and stiffness is increased. Angle, leave the angle to zero. Just don't mess with the angle. 
and there we go so this is for the lighter blue now and start painting that and, and as you can see we can see hair stands already took us almost four to five colors to get till hair strands you could have gotten hair strands in this color stage itself but they wouldn't have like looked they wouldn't have looked they wouldn't have looked this beautiful so here we go you don't want to lose i mean you don't want to lose hair strands already so this is the second layer and i'm going to create a new layer for the perfect colors i'm making four layers this time and uh, let's see and there we go there we go and there we go not much and then the final color that is the blue color that our hair is make it smaller it's way smaller and then start painting them on and there we go so as you can see way better than this hairstyle and way more strands than that hairstyle and then now you want to start getting outside the border a bit and start painting don't go outside the border on these edges stay in over there and what you want to do is get some highlights in make the brush size bigger and start painting highlights in as you can see i'm painting highlights in here and they start looking better than the previous one take the dark color start painting darker shades there we go pick colors start painting darker shades smoothly pick colors start painting darker shades smoothly and now what you want to do is go to a simple brush again like something like this with fade don't have any hardness on it and uh, create a new layer so that you don't miss other layers select the blue light i mean dark i mean light blue make it small at something like five and then start painting strands that go outside the air something like that start hold on a second guys okay back to the painting something like this and pick the color start painting outside the border and pick the color start painting outside the border you can't see it right now but i'm painting outside the border and then what you do finally is take a e start erasing shitty lines as you can see this one looks way more beautiful than the right one the left one and i don't know which one this is okay still the black one okay go away dude and go away dude a bit over here and as you can see this is the easier way to paint hair uh, this took us way more time than we painted this one you can still use this technique with this technique to make beautiful hair and i just want to share with you guys and i'm working on something right now that is this one i still haven't started working with any of these styles yet i'm still using this style on that one and i started want to start working with this time i just wanted to share it with you guys and thanks for watching guys have a nice day please leave, uh, leave me your likes and comments if you have any doubts leave them in the comments and leave a like if you like the video and it if it if it helped you at all and thanks for watching guys catch you next time bye bye